But I also have a question for black men that have so much energy towards Gail. Do you have that same energy for white supremacy? my channel motorcycles hey <laughs> if this is your first time seeing me up on your screen i am eloho and i hail from brooklyn new york the little borough the little state the little sector lit 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 bow 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 all right let me calm down now i'm always coming on here with the looks of facts of tea and the unpopular opinions y'all know i just say what it is it is what i say and some people like it some people love it some people drag me it's all right because ain't nobody about that life in real life so but I wanted to come on here and discuss the kale, the kale, <laughs> the Gail and Oprah, um, Ari Lennox, Snoop Dogg, just the whole debacle. In times like this where we lose a legend or we lose an icon, people get in their feelings as it is natural to get in your feelings. I'm gonna say what I said and I'm gonna said what I say in this video and I mean you can either take it personal and get upset or you could just take it for what it is and understand that everybody is different and everybody is entitled to their own feelings and their own opinions now I wasn't even going to talk about this because when I made mention to certain real topics in the first video y'all were like oh it's too soon this is not the time to talk about that this is too soon and I completely understand just you know giving the family time to grieve but you have to also understand that when you are a public figure you no longer can control what people say and what people do and how they feel about your actions me being a public figure I had to learn that and I'm not even I ain't got no championships like Kobe. I ain't, I ain't brawning out here. You feel me? So if I can understand that, I'm pretty sure Kobe understood that his life and what he, you know, what he did, you know, caused him to live under a microscope. And I want to say this, and I want to say this with all due respect, and this is not just Kobe. This is anybody. In the words of Chris Brown, it's never the right time to say goodbye. It's never going to be the right time to speak facts when someone is no longer here to defend themselves there's just never going to be a right time you know what i mean you say it now it's too soon you say it later he just been buried you say it a year from now it's the anniversary how dare you say it on the anniversary you say it five years from now let the man rest he's been gone for five years there's never a right time to tell the truth like it's just never a right time and while I acknowledge and respect Kobe and the work that he's done and how he even impacted me as a kid, young black boys and young black girls, we need heroes. We need people to look up to and aspire to be like and hopefully be better than. Now, I'm also a firm believer in keep that same energy. This case was dismissed about 15 years ago. No one spoke of this case. To be honest, I never even knew the full details of the um, alleged rape and it wasn't something of the present day. Now, if this was something that maybe the case reopened, maybe the woman decided to press charges again. If this was something that was new and that was fresh and that people, you know, we were fighting for, everyone was talking about it and this was something that we wanted to see justice for this woman who was allegedly raped. Now, if that was the case, I completely get it like bring it up bring up the fact that you know this is the case bring because I want y'all to know this right now when R. Kelly go I hope y'all ain't <laughs> if you come in my comment section saying it's too soon oh you getting blocked I'm sorry <laughs> you're getting blocked <laughs> okay there was video there was footage there was so many accounts he did it. you protect black women and girls then there should be no if ands or buts but people don't protect black women and girls so but we know this already okay that's outside the point but we will get back to that point later and no shade no tea that's why i didn't necessarily even think of the victim i didn't even think about the rape and when the rape just started coming up i'm like that's so corny to me because when he was alive just yesterday and 15 years prior nobody was talking about that like nobody cared like the alleged victim didn't even say anything so who are all of y'all these are my initial thoughts who are all of y'all i just feel like that's so corny that's so buns like you wait for somebody can't we wait till somebody can't defend themselves to then say yeah and they did this and they did that why you ain't say that yesterday bro however regardless of how corny i think it is the case did happen okay he apologized he turned over a new leaf and from then on we did not hear anything even remotely close to this till the day that he died and that's something that is commendable you weren't there i wasn't there 
Okay, I have my personal beliefs as to whether I believe if she did it or not. But y'all can't really handle the truth, 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 truth. So I'm going to save that for me and Jesus. Okay, I'm going to save that for me and God. Me and God, we're going to keep that here. Because y'all know I'm a little prophetic. And y'all know I'm a little psychic and stuff like that. It's my Pisces ability. But we're going to keep that here because the people can't handle that. Legacy continues. But again, it will come up because it is something that happened during his lifetime. Now, when I first saw, <laughs> girl, when I first saw the interview with Gail and Lisa, my first thought was, okay, like, I get that Lisa and Gail, um, Lisa and Gail, I get that Kobe and Lisa were good friends. Why put this black woman in this predicament? Like, like, suppose Lisa wasn't able to really articulate in a way in which she didn't discredit, you know, victims of the Me Too movement, as well as she didn't discredit Kobe and kind of he is. I'm honestly more upset that she put her in that predicament to where it could have really went really left for Lisa to where her career is now in danger. Like, let's stop putting that the pressure on black women to, to say, like, to say things. Like, stop putting the pressure on us. Get one of his male friends. You know what I mean? Ask them, ask them those questions, okay? Don't ask Lisa. That was number one. Regardless, if it was the right time to ask. If it was the wrong time to ask, inquiring minds wanted to know you may not have thought that that was a good question male rappers may not have thought that that was a good question but there are millions and billions of people on this earth well i wonder what she thought of this well i wonder what was lisa's opinion if she was so close think about it r kelly we wonder okay did his wife know did his children know you know did his mother know did his brother know did, who were the people close to him and did they see any signs I had to talk with my friends about this because we have one friend um, and he's just so chill and so nonchalant and he's just so like quiet and like nerdy and awkward and I was like you know use him for an example if somebody was to say yo he's at this I would be the first person on he would never he's quiet he's oh my god he's into books and he's da -da 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 -da. and if the person then says to me well Iloho because that is your friend and because you know him and you see him on an everyday basis and you've interacted with him where he's where he's been nothing but a gentleman you wouldn't know you wouldn't know if when he leaves you, what he's doing. You wouldn't know if he's in a moment where he wasn't able to control himself. You wouldn't know. And I don't know about the rest of y'all, but that is a valid point. And that is a very valid statement or question. You wouldn't know. Yes, he was this great guy in front of you. Yes, he was a great guy to the world. You know how many serial killers can put on a stone cold, oh, I give charity, I go to Africa every year, and I do this, and I do that, and I, I've given back, and I've given back, and I build businesses, blah, blah, blah. and you turn out that, yeah, you did all of those great things, but you're also cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs behind closed doors. Now, I'm not saying Kobe was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs behind closed doors. I think that we're all human, and none of us are perfect. He was 18 at the time, he was a teenager, he was young, all of this power, all of this fame. You know, somebody probably told him like, yo, you better, this is what you do, this is how we do it, this is the... You know what I'm trying to say? Not making excuses, but he could have had a moment where, and he did have a moment where he regretted. He admitted to, you know, having sex with this woman, but it was a regret, because he was married at the time. He apologized, he moved forward, it never happened again. She moved forward, it never happened again. I personally did not see the full interview, but from the videos that I have seen, you know, the full interview wasn't no different from the short clip. So it's like, okay, I didn't really need to sit through the whole interview, but um, I think that was a valid statement that you wouldn't know. And not to say that he did it, but if he did, you wouldn't know. What is untrue about that? What is, and you know what really got me? It was the energy. Because when I saw that, I did, I was like, ugh, it was a little cringy. Because it's hard, right? It's a hard question to ask. Um, and as a journalist, as a lawyer, do you think lawyers, they ask hard questions all the time. So I did cringe. I did cringe when she asked that. Because I was just like, wow, okay, I mean, okay. But nothing made me cringe more than the reactions of the black men. And I'm not even only going to just say black men. I'm going to just say black rappers, right? Or, or black celebrities because it's levels to it right the black men that i spoke out about this they completely understood my point they completely understood where i was coming from and they were like nah like i really hear where you're coming from but i still believe that <laughs> of course they still believe that they're trying to take down black men and i'm not negating that i'm not saying that they're not but notice you gotta notice who and what 
people have energy for. It's always the takedown of the black community. Oh yeah, I'm trying to destroy the black community. I'm trying to destroy the black community. When another black man is at stake. But when black girls are at stake, I don't hear black men say, y'all trying to destroy the community because y'all trying to destroy our black girls. When those young black girls came out and said that R. Kelly touched me, this is what happened. These are my accounts. Here's proof. Here's proof. Here's more proof, more proof, more proof, and more proof. I'm not going to lie. I heard a lot of black men say they wanted it. They was hoes. They trying to take down a black man. They was fresh. They was fast. They wanted it. Now let's just say all of those things were true. They were 14 years old. They were 15 years old. They were 16 years old. And this is a man in his 30s. So if a 14 year old comes up to you and says, I want this, I want that, you just gonna just say she's a hoe, I'm gonna do it because she's a hoe? Or are you as a grown ass man in your right mind gonna say, whoa, <laughs> where's your mother? You bugging. It's at times like this where it's very hard for black women, especially someone as myself, to speak out and say, yo, that is wrong and I do see them doing that and I do see them doing that because when the shoe is on the other foot, there's no outrage. There's no hashtags. There's no camera phone, ain't screaming in a camera phone. Yo, y'all stay doing this to our black women. Y'all stay violating our dark skin sisters. Y'all stay violating our dark skin sisters. Stop saying. I don't see the energy when it comes to protecting us because it's not there. You know, black men defend black men. Black women defend black men. And that's how that goes. Like I said, I didn't even want to do this video because I know that the truth hurts and I know that lives were lost tragically. It takes tragedy to show you who people really are. And time and time again, you know, again, I'm not going to say all black men, but I'm going to say most black um, celebrities, they show us time and time again who they really are. So regardless of if you felt that Gail, it was too soon or it was insensitive, she's a journalist that is part of her job when you watch the news when you watch documentaries questions have to be asked these things have to be on record okay these things have to be on record um hard questions have to be asked and somebody has to do it you know um do i see a pattern of not necessarily gail but do i see a pattern of oprah doing things that's a little like side eye it's like hold on but why are you not with this again i like when people keep the same energy just keep the same energy okay i'm not saying that she's right because she hasn't kept the same energy. But the reaction. I was like wow. Oh. So y'all just going to call this lady out. Out of all types of her names. Y'all just going to threaten this lady. I'm confused as to why you hate the place. That gave you life. Was your mother not there for you? Where your aunts not there for you then you hear the stories about how the mothers were there for them the aunts were there for them the sisters were there for them they were rooting for them the whole time so where is this self-hate continuously coming from i'm supposed to now come out with video after video after video after video talking about how gail was wrong and i don't know if god forbid if i was in a predicament i don't know how many black men would make videos and say this person was wrong for what they did to Eloho. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, I'm, why well, I gotta give y'all energy and y'all don't, as a collective, give us that energy. But I also have a question for black men that have so much energy towards Gail. Do you have that same energy for white supremacy? I don't see that energy against white supremacy. I don't see it. And I just hope that this is a lesson for some people that black women are getting tired and we're not gonna continue to be the face of the fight for y'all. Like, and you can't get mad when we don't, because guess what? The world is your oyster. You can have this woman, you can have that woman, you can have that, 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 blah, blah, blah. So I hope when it's time to fight for y'all, the whole rainbow comes to defend y'all because you won't see us. You won't. I'm personally, I'm not gonna write off black men entirely because I see some great black men in my day-to-day -day basis. But for as far as these black celebrities and these black elites, people that we're supposed to listen to and look up to and oh my god, is this person is he's a legend, he's that it's like 
but I need to see that energy in return. If I see that energy in return, oh baby, <laughs> baby don't trip. Like, you can get it back. You can get that energy back with no problem. When I don't see it, you're not gonna get it. And it's fair, because guess what? They'll call us the angry black woman in a heartbeat. But if you just don't even say shit, then I guess you can't call me that. <laughs> Cause I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't say nothing. I don't got nothing to say. Mm? Me? I'm quiet. Oh, I ain't even know about that. I don't. Oh, they did. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, can I get a pepperoni slice? Like. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all let me know down in the comment section what you thought of this video do you feel like gail and oprah deserve to be dragged the way that they were did my valentine's day makeup girl it will be over on my beauty channel so make sure you are subscribed as well to Elo beauty and i'll see you at the next one